So this video, I think I could I could close off close off the rest of the night for this one, but uh, for this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Bear Hope and my experiences with it, and particularly why going in for a second phase or a second round at some point in the future, hopefully someday, might be ideal for me. So, for those of you who don't know, Bear Help is this therapy counseling psychology. Uh, it's a psych psychiatrist therapy. Um, online counseling kind of a service where you can find a therapist online uh, or even other ideal therapists to your, fit your needs um, to help you out with things that you things everything you were probably expecting to have from a, a brick and mortar a, a psychiatry business service thing or even therapy even, even brick and mortar therapy like things like that. If you didn't get the the best out of physical, like, out of, not physical therapy, that's different. But like, if you didn't get the best out of like established therapy, then BetterHelp would offer you a way to do online therapy in in other convenience ways. It's it's probably one of my favorite online, at least the only ones I, I use, the only one I use so far. But like, BetterHelp was one of my favorite online uh, therapy uh, services I ever used. Again, one the only one, the only one I ever used. But yeah, it's um, it was really good. I went for like four months from like September. 2021 to December 2021, but literally the last day of December of that year, uh, the last day of 2021, I ended my therapy with a, with a really good high note, and uh, moved on with the 2022 doing other things. But what I learned in three to five months was basically to not pressure myself too much. As the, in the words of my, th my therapist, um, she said that I uh, that I didn't I didn't pressure myself too much, and I also learned how to um, really trust the process. I guess maybe. Just not like being like a uh, on edge all the time about like that goes that ties into being not pressured too much, but like but knowing that there are things I can do in my situation as I probably established very early into the the, the, the therapy counseling that I was that confident, but I, I seem to have gained even more confidence than that over time, and so it was a really it was a really convenient service. I did I didn't I I paid even when I had high, I had huge discounts for my for my uh, uh, membership. But even then, it still costs like up to about 180 a month to do this, and it was like, it was like a. My mother did not approve of that, to say at least. Like she didn't want me to spend any amounts of fortune, uh, <laughs> if I had to say it like that, any amounts of fortune, fortunes, fortunes, and like a, uh, to like to even do things that I could have been doing myself or learning by myself. And her big gambit was my mother's gambit was that. I could learn how to do these things on my own, and even if I did need therapy, I would just use it as a, as a stepping stone, as like a little bit of a bike with training wheels, and then get along with the cane, just use the cane, the, the walking cane for a little bit, and then slowly get off of it and see if I could do things casually on my own with that, with that my foundation. And that was, I could understand where she was coming from from that. So I just, but generally speaking, her and her boyfriend did not approve of me uh, jumping into this stuff like nonchalantly just doing therapy as if I didn't know any better and I, I normally the first things that they, they, they said were things like oh this is insane why are you spending so much money on therapy when you could just talk to us and not make a big deal about these things at the last second and just and didn't we tell you that we were supposed to uh agree that this was maybe not something you did ha you had to do and that we all we all knew that you weren't having to do this and so that, that make a long story short Getting through bear help was personally a bit of a struggle. It was the hard part was not, uh, oh, accepting my insecurities and just taking the first step. No, it was literally like get out of my effing way or else, please, just let me do this. Come on, <laughs> like leave me alone. I just I just want my therapy, man. <laughs> I know it's expensive. I know it may not be like worth the money, maybe if that's a more controversial issue. But uh, you know. Learning these things on my own is understandable, which is why I had to do that this year anyways in 2022, but, you know. So anyways, getting on to bear help. Um, the, what they offer are things like the journal. You can do um, other community uh, visits for, like, this other branch of the site. Like, you can do, like, community visits for, like, different, like, groups. So that there's, the like, groups on bear help, and there's, like, the journal you can do every day. And you have a different prompt every day if you want to randomize it a little bit. Writing in the little journal every, every day. So, like, and then the groups is, like, the... Uh, you go into these other these other um, online uh, meetings, and then you meet other people. You meet, meet other people, and you talk to them about certain things. So aside from the therapy, it's ideally your therapy for most of the, uh, most of these psychiatrists will be like thirty to forty five minutes uh, weekly sessions, 
And my therapist particularly did focus on those so that she could make sure that they were done. Or that she, what, what, what she did was that she she, central, she she made sure that her information went through the, the beings themselves rather than just the conversations outside of them. Which I can understand. I can understand that. But it was like, um, you know, um, I could talk a little bit about things outside the meetings, but the primary focus was the meetings, and I, I, I could get behind that. So out of the 16 more or less meetings I had, um, I tried... I mostly just did video sessions, and then I did um, one of uh, audio session on the phone. And I, I was going to do a, a message mode uh, a session, but I actually I only missed that that session. That was like the only session I missed on th Bear Help. And then my family did not take kindly to that, but uh, um, you know they were always keen on me scheduling my, my, my therapy sessions ahead of time, which I could I eventually had I eventually was able to conform to that, so I was okay with doing that. But normally I would schedule the sessions either right after the last session or a day or two after that session already ended. And uh, I got into the habit of doing it even with with or without my family scolding me for not scheduling sessions sooner or later than later. I still managed to discuss. Nonetheless, I scheduled sessions right after every other session and then uh, that was okay. So, um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a really nice experience. I just, I actually, I actually... Like, I didn't just feel better from doing better help. It was like, I knew subconsciously I was learning things I didn't know right at the, right at the time. But it was like, no matter what kind of day I was having, good or bad, it was like, you call this ups and downs, whatever you ha what have you. But like, it just, um, I never felt pressure to talk to my therapist. I never like, I never felt like I had to make something work every week just just because I, I was paying money for it it was like i i may i, may, I would maybe eventually felt like that maybe in january 2022 or forwards if i had if that ever happened but even when it ended in december 2021 it was like wow this was on my call this was me doing this with my own instruction and i'm still learning from a professional and i'm still doing this based on my own needs but i'm still doing a good job at it and it's like even though everyone has issues you could literally like, like, you can go in with, with even the two hundred and forty dollars maximum price, and it would still be worth it because you could literally like, like you could convenience yourself, you could convenience yourself into learning these things about yourself, in a way that maybe a brick and mortar therapist or psychiatrist wouldn't be able to tell you. And I'm not saying that those those aren't worth worthwhile. I, I go ahead and do a physical physical not ther again not physical therapy. Like go ahead and do. A traditional therapy if it helps you but better help was definitely worth it for me i think i just i i felt like in the report i wrote for my therapist I, I wrote the report um i meant the things i said i meant like the uh, the uh, balance and things uh letting me know that even though she wasn't this high stakes oh i'm gonna give you this objective wisdom advice uh and you better listen to me and all this stuff it wasn't anything like that it was like i'm gonna be metered i'm gonna be well composured and I'm going to do this in a way where I gather all the information I can take in and then make it and still make it practical and relevant enough for you to understand and that, that's I'm talking about myself by the way but like it's like a to myself but it's like that's what that's how good she was is that she was very well contemplate and making it so that I could understand what what I was telling her back to me and how we can make that better and I was if that's too vague for you I'm sorry I just I expect I can make it for an hour for now but just so yeah that was bear help and yeah um, I said quite a bit in this video, some personal things, some private things, but that's kind of the gambit of why I'm learning from this stuff, so, um, BetterHelp is worth it, um, I dare say 9 out of 10, because there's only one problem I have with BetterHelp, and it's that, I, um, not, not, not even the price, it's like, they're really just the, um, it's, actually, no, not, I don't have much of a complaint, but I'm just, I'm playing 9 out of 10 just in case it's imperfect, because nothing's perfect, because therapy, ah, uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, take care, guys. Next video should be about claymation, maybe. If, if that's tomorrow, at least. If it's tomorrow, then so be it. But yeah, see you guys. Hopefully, you get, see you in the next one. Bye.